Most of us have heard about rare diseases, but did you know that on average it can take up to 8 years to get an accurate diagnosis for these patients? 8 years and many many doctors visit. Many rare diseases affect children and severely impact their quality of life. As part of the Silent Genomes project, we work on improving the diagnostic success for indigenous families with genetic conditions who remain undiagnosed after clinical tests. This focus is particularly important for indigenous children whose diagnostic journey is even longer due to the unique barriers in access to health services that they are facing. Therefore, it is crucial that we act and develop strategies to turn this around. Our team investigates how we can better diagnose these patients using computational techniques to study an individual's gene set. To improve the diagnostic approach, I've asked myself several questions. What is a rare disease? How is a rare disease different from a common disease? Are all rare diseases equally rare? Is there one bioinformatic pipeline that fits all rare disease patients equally? We know that rare diseases are often caused by damage to a single gene. This contrasts with common diseases that are often caused by multiple gene defects combined with environmental factors. There are also differences in disease prevalence between these groups. For the first time, I looked at rare diseases as a spectrum consisting of three categories. Borderline common, rare and ultra-rare. The characteristics and genetic causes of the diseases varies between the categories. First, patients with the same borderline common rare disease more often have different symptoms and thereby disease presentation. Second, more borderline common rare diseases are caused by multiple gene defects. This is not accounted for by current methods, which primarily focus on single gene defects. My results show that we are unlikely to succeed in our efforts if we use a one-size-fits-all diagnostic approach. Therefore, we are now tailoring our bioinformatic workflows to account for the spectrum of rare diseases and more complex genetic scenarios. The indigenous patients enrolled in the silent genomes are from all three categories, where borderline common rare diseases are particularly difficult to diagnose even when applying cutting-edge technology. We are excited to see how the implementation can improve the diagnostic success for these patients.